Hi everyone, this is Vidhi and uh, I am from Bhivani, Haryana and I have completed my graduations from MD University and uh, Masters in Physics from D. Chris Muthur. In this video, I am going to share my personal experience in the TOEFL exam and uh, some tips and tricks which uh, may help you in some way. So let's get started. First of all, there are four sections, namely reading, listening, speaking and writing. Okay, so in the my first section, I got three passage instead of four. Like I didn't get any dummy section. So I had 60 minutes to complete the all the three passages. And the one thing that I'm, I want to suggest you is uh, go through the, don't go through the complete passage. Okay, just read the question first. And then according to that question, read that uh, specific passage. Okay, so it will, it will help you to uh, keep your time to make your, uh, to make your task easy as the questions are little trickier so they gonna puzzle you so you don't need to get puzzled with that question as you already know that uh, questions will be like this and you have to answer like this so it it would be manageable so um the one of the main difficulty that i faced in my reading section was when i was doing my reading section people started doing their listening section so, and they were too loud that I couldn't concentrate on my reading section. So, do not lose your concentration. And after doing my reading section, my listening section started. And there were three passages instead of two. Like, I got dummy section in listening one. As I didn't get in reading. So, there were three. And uh, the, ad the one advice that I want to suggest you is uh, do not take notes. Like in my case, I'm, I'm the kind of girl who can't concentrate on writing and at the same time listening. So uh, if you are like me, so do not take notes. Just listen what the speaker is saying. And try to focus on each and every minute details and on the transition words also. For example, however, therefore, etc. And after my listening section is done, uh, there's a 10 minutes break. And actually there is an advantage of that 10 minutes break that you can take. If you are going for the washroom or the water, so just walk slowly so that you can uh, get to know the questions that are already asked in the speaking section from the people that are already doing that speaking section. So this will help you to get your answer beforehand. Personal suggestion would be uh, use templates and do not cram them. You don't need to cram all these templates. Just practice with them and uh, this uh, practice will make you habitual to them okay so you're gonna memorize them automatically whenever you practice with those templates okay the main difficulty that i faced and that was literally frustrating to me when i was doing my last part of my listening section because the guy sitting next to me was literally shouting and that was so disturbing so i couldn't concentrate on the last part of my listening section so you just can't help it people gonna shout no matter what you do, you can't help it. So, after my listening section and uh, after the break, uh, I gave the speaking section. And somehow I gave it because it was, it was really so disturbing. People are literally shouting at the top of their lungs. So, after the speaking section, I started my writing section. And there are two tasks. One is integrated and another is non-integrated. So, in integrated, there are two things. That is one passage and one is listening one. So you need to concentrate on the listening one as there will be theories regarding some topic, uh, contradicting theories. So you need to concentrate on the main idea and the main theory that is contradicting. And uh, if I talk about the resources from where I have prepared for this exam are some of the YouTube channels, for example, TOEFL with UR, test prep and uh, noteful videos. And uh, for the practice, I used a TOEFL bank. So you just you don't need to take subscription of it, huh? You just uh, 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 like TOEFL Bank gives a free practice test for 24 hours. So use that and use different IDs, obviously. In the end, I wanna thank Mr. Narendra Pramar sir for guiding me throughout the whole process and uh, at each and every step of my preparation. So uh, thank you so much, um, Narendra Pramar sir for guiding me and helping me. Thank you.